Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I hope you're having a great day. This is Christine Ann, and today I am going to show you my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, a couple words about my collection is that I have accumulated all of these palettes over um, the past six months, um, I would say more or less. Um, some of them I paid full price for. Uh, many of them I bought on discount through sites like Mercari or Poshmark. Um, some of them I also got on discount from uh, places like Marshalls or TJ Maxx online or in person. Um, some of these palettes I picked out because there was just something about them that just really spoke to me and it could have been for, you know, any number of reasons. The, the colors, the, um, you know, the popularity of the, of the palette, you know, certainly a fear of missing out kind of situation. Um, but I've just had fun and because I've accumulated so many so quickly and there's just been piles all over my bedroom, I don't really know um, entirely what I have. So this is meant not only to show you my collection, but also for myself to get an inventory of what I uh, have. So I, I'm pretty sure I have at least 100. I hope I don't have more than 200. Um, and many of these have not been used yet because uh, I'm trying to use one palette a day just to start learning about each one of them. Sometimes I'll do my makeup twice a day just purely for myself for fun to see what is, um, you know, how, how the palette performs, what I think about the colors. Um, so anyway, let's just jump in and um, You'll just be seeing my hands, and um, I'm doing this in the morning. I've just finished my coffee, but I have uh, a Zoom meeting coming up in about an hour and a half, and I happen to be alone, so it seems like the best time to try and do this and to take advantage of the natural sunlight. So with that being said, um, let's get started. And there's no order to these. I'm just literally grabbing them off of um, the piles that I've pulled over from my bedroom. Okay, so the first one is this palette. Um, I guess this is called the Boyfriend Palette from Kimchi. Um, I'll probably be doing another video on this at some point. Uh, the background and why I was interested in um, this palette in particular. Oops. But uh, there's what it looks like. And uh, looks like mostly neutrals with some pops of colors. I have not tried it at all. This is a palette that whether it works well or not, I wanted it. it looks like these are some uh, colors that can also be used for uh, the face or blushes or whatnot. So... Um, that is that palette, and it is green, which is um, something I really love. Next uh, is this, the Clueless palette from Hip Dot. I believe it's actually called the 411 palette. Um, absolutely love this one, oops, um, because I just love the movie Clueless. And then the, the colors I really like, and especially colors like this deep, kind of steely blue. I just absolutely love that color in in my art uh, to wear, um, etc. So I'm excited about this one. Plus, it's fuzzy. That's just totally fun. Um, I have the Natasha Denona um, green palette. So this is the most expensive one in my collection. And um, I really wanted to get this one. This is one of those that uh, I did get on Mercari for, um, I, I think in the end I probably paid exactly what I would have paid online, but I think it wasn't online and I just really, really wanted it. So there's my Natasha Denona green. 
Um, here is the Tardius Pro Remix palette. I just got this one. I got it on Amazon. Again, I, I love the story. Uh, excuse me, I love the, the colors. These This kind of navy blue, this kind of tealy green. I just absolutely, absolutely love those colors. Um, can't wait to use this one. In fact, I might even use it today because I haven't put my makeup on yet. Okay, next I have two of these um, Natasha Denona five pans. Um, this one is new, um, or I should say unused. I got it on Mercari, but it is uh, brand new, unused. This one is, um, and actually I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. This is the Jubilee palette. And then this one is the Ayana palette. So I'm not necessarily excited about the Ayana palette, but I bought it, um, it was very cheap. I think it was about $10, $10 or something because I want to pop out the shadows and then just use the case if I want to make my own um, little custom five pan palettes for um, traveling. Although I really, I really hate traveling. That'll be another video. <laughs> just any situation where I want to have something a little more curated. So that one will be popped out. Um, I have a couple of the Dr. Seuss palettes that I got in Target when I was on vacation in Florida. Um, I had a wonderful afternoon just wandering around Target. So um, I thought these were totally fun and very nostalgic for me, not only for myself having read these books as a kid, but these just really make me, oh my God, why can't I open this one? Ah, there it goes. Um, just really makes me think of my son when he was learning to read. So um, there are those. I've certainly learned from watching many other people's videos that you can't, you know, judge a palette by its cover. And, you know, sometimes the most inexpensive palettes are the ones that are, you know, your favorites. Um, this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is one of those that I just had to have, um, partly because I absolutely love the colors and also it's just such a classic and so many people's um, collections. And again, there's those kind of navy blue, deep green blue, just absolutely love these. This one arrived um, broken, but I repressed it back into the pan. Um, I have two of these Makeup Revolution palettes. This is the Forever, oh, the, this is the Everlasting palette. Of course, it's green. And this is the Mesmerized palette, um, which is uh, purple. Purple is one of those colors that I didn't really think I would like on my eyes, but I've been trying to be a little adventurous and try things that I wouldn't do before, and I actually love it. I have brown eyes, so I think it actually looks um, really nice, and I really um, like the looks that I've made so far. As you can see, these two have not been used yet, but I only have two eyes and so much time in the day. Um, here is the Heather Austin palette that I also just bought. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I absolutely love the greens, the yellows. It has purples in it. I'm, I'm super excited. Um, there's a number of shimmers and I love sparkly things. So I'm really excited about uh, this palette. Okay, what is next? Here is the Just My Luck by ColourPop. Oh my God, okay. Um, it is green, I think that's all I need to say. Okay, this is the Teddy palette from Hank and Henry. And um, beautiful colors, I love that they're kind of deep. Um, I really like deeper, darker colors in general. So um, this one has special meaning uh, for a couple reasons. One is that, um, it's called Teddy, which is the name of my son. And the second is that uh, what's embossed into the um, shadows are owls, which is uh, makes me think of my mom who passed away 10 years ago, but she loved owls. 
And so my sisters and I have sort of gone owl crazy since she passed away and we have so many owl things. We also all have this owl tattoo on our left wrist um, in honor of my, uh, my mom. This is the All of You Forever palette. Uh, again, green tones, more of a uh, sort of, um, I guess some people will refer to it as grungy. Uh, the olive tones with some neutrals is beautiful. Can't wait to use this. This is a palette from Catkin. Uh, this is a Chinese brand and um, have yet to try these, but I've heard some good things and they have some interesting uh, colors within them. So there's my green. Uh, looking forward to using this one. I'm actually gonna put that aside a second because there's some other things to mention about that. This is from Butter London, the Teddy Boy palette. Um, and this one is neutral, but again, I love these sort of steely blue, navy blue, periwinkle kind. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll use this one today. I don't know. Okay, I have these two palettes from uh, Makeup Revolution. So this is the Good Vibes, Chilled Vibes palette. Oh my God. And this one is the with cannabis. Oh, chilled. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Forever Flawless. Good vibes, chilled vibes. And this is chilled with cannabis sativa. Um, no idea. I'm trying here, people. Um, they both have green. Um, I, I, I love them for the packaging. Um, packaging is something that really pulls me in a lot of times. Let me do that. But uh, they both have green, but one is a little deeper than the other. So kind of see those as being complementary to each other. This is such an awesome palette. Um, this is called A Gothic Romance by Necromancy Cosmetica. Um, this is an indie brand. This is on their website, I believe, the only palette that they have. They're brand new. So there it is. Um, this part comes off. It's a little mirror. And then this opens up um, into the palette. And the colors I absolutely love, and I love the artwork on the back. Um, I will totally be talking, let me turn it over the right side out, I'll totally be talking about this one some more. I mean, th the packaging alone, I am just completely in love with, even if I never even touched it, but I totally wanna use that one. This is the Rain Palette from Sample Beauty, and this is one that I did not see a lot of people um, have in their collection or talk about or whatnot. I found this by looking on the website. I thought it was gorgeous. I thought it was so different. I mean, it's a neutral palette, yes, but just the reds and the yellows, um, I, I just love it. and. Uh, these kind of red colors are something that I was surprised that I actually liked wearing as eyeshadow. So I'm really looking forward to playing this one and I might make a video about this one one time because these colors, um, this red, this yellow, together with black and white, which this does not have, makes up the Zorn palette, which is a particular um, group of colors that are used um, in art to create skin tones. So that should be a fun video to do. Okay, next we have the, um, why am I always so blind on this? This is the Iceland palette. Land of Fire and Ice palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Um, packaging is gorgeous. The, um, the eyeshadows are gorgeous. Um, and I've been to Iceland, uh, so this is just has so many different reasons for why I just love this palette. Um, this palette from Fenty Beauty. This is the Moroccan Spice. I have used this one so far. I absolutely love it. And I know a lot of people haven't liked this one. I don't know why. Um, 
the the colors seem to work well um, of course I'm still on a, a steep learning curve but I actually made a smoky eye with this and I actually was not intending to make a smoky eye I kind of just made a mess on my eyes but I cleaned it up and it ends up being smoky and I loved it and uh, I used these colors kind of down here so I really excited about this palette okay this is the Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay love 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 the packaging love the quality of this palette it just feels so luxe love the colors um, so big fan um, here's another catkin palette this uh, these are the colors in this one so that's why I saved this catkin palette because I ordered both of these now notice that the covers are the same but the colors are different and I thought I made a mistake but then when I went back and I looked this one is called C07 and then it has um, some Chinese characters under it this one is written in English it's called C13 starry sky palette so if you are interested in these just be aware of that um, I also went to the website and looked and you can see that they have the same cover but it's kind of not necessarily noticeable the way the pictures are and I got these on Amazon so by my swatches they seem pretty good um, but just something to notice about that and the last thing in this box is the Profusion Cosmetics Emerald Gems so this is pressed glitter um, you know, I know a lot of people don't like pressed glitter. Um, I don't have a lot of experience playing with them so far, but I, I mean, just look at it. It's just, I can just stare at it all day and that alone could be enough for me. Okay, so that's the end of this pile. Okay, next up I have uh, this palette from Winky Lux that I got in Target. Uh, I, I guess you're seeing a theme here. It's, um, you know, love the packaging, love the colors, um, not used yet, looking forward to using it. I also got this one from Winky Lux and I actually bought it. Um, I hope this is in uh, focus. Also got this one from Winky Lux and I bought it and then I went to another Target and I bought it again because I forgot I got this one because uh, the two of them I guess sort of look the same to me so I guess I'll be doing a giveaway for that one at some time. Um, I have uh, I actually broke down and bought the um, the monochromatic palettes from Colourpop so this is Blue Moon and main squeeze um, so these are great I have used some ColourPop um, palettes some other ones so far and I really like so this is the Virgin Mojito by Kimchi Cheek um, and uh, again enough said it's adorable it's green and yellow it's just playful and fun love the packaging I don't care that there's no mirror. Um, I bought this one from Beauty Bakery. Um, I guess it's called Bite Size. Um, I wanted to buy this um, kind of to support the brand. You know, I think it's really important to support um, women-owned businesses, uh, businesses um, run and managed by women of color. So. Um, and then of course there was green so that totally pulled me in at first look I thought that these all kind of seem the same color but I don't know if you can tell in the light they actually are different this is a little more peachy this is deeper this is a little more mustardy so the differences are subtle um, but uh, I know I've heard from many of you that you can't necessarily tell what something looks like in the pan because they can look very differently on the eye. So um, I don't have any, uh, any negative thoughts about this one uh, whatsoever. That's just one of the things that I noticed uh, up front. 
So that should be fun. I absolutely had to get one of these. Um, the the Jungle Lights uh, palette from Flower Beauty. Um, mine arrived broken. So you see the, the green is kind of crumbled all over. I pressed it back in. So it's a little messy, but um, certainly still usable. Okay, so here's another from Nomad Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Oriental Express. Just the packaging, the colors, um, just love, absolutely love, you know, this color, this color, there's that red. Um, really starting to enjoy these mustards. So really excited about this one. Just the packaging is amazing um, by Nomad. Here's LA Girl Hey Hey Vacay palette. Um, very uh, sort of warm tone, neutral with some greens. This will be great for the fall. Um, I know so much green. Oh, here's another Catkin palette. This is called C. This is the C14 cocktail palette. So that is the packaging. This one is different from the other two I showed you. And this one is more of a blue story, which um, I'm not a huge fan of. I'm afraid to wear blue eyeshadow. That's what I would say. I think looking at it is gorgeous. I'm afraid to wear it because it reminds me of like the 70s and 80s. Don't want to look tacky, but I, I think there's a way to pull it off. Actually, what I've been starting to do with some palettes is I will use the blue very um, specifically. I might use it as my eyeliner or just on the under uh, my lower lid. So uh, that's how I've been working into being more comfortable with blue okay this is just funny okay um i again i got this on mercari for like ten dollars or something it was brand new unused um, i thought my kid would think it's funny this just makes me smile <laughs> because it's a computer i mean come on and actually i swatched a few of these yesterday and i was you know really surprised actually they um, it's not looking so... Yeah, the colors are not bad. Um, where is it? This silver is, like, amazing. So that should just be... Uh, if I use this one, I think it's just going to make me smile no matter what uh, the eyeshadow looks out like. Um, this is the Martine 669 palette, which I actually bought based on a video I watched by Erica Conger who um, still has the thing in it. I mean, this is stunning, stunning. I love all these colors. These are the colors that I wear on a daily basis. I wear black and navy blue. Uh, most, most of the time, I just love that combination. I think it's so, just, I just love that combination. Um, and so this is just stunning. I can stare at this just like all day. Um, so I really can't wait to get into this one. You see, I'm excited by so many of these palettes. Um, this is from Hip Dot. This is the C Note palette. Um, so the front packaging just totally drew me in. And then of course the colors are really lovely. So um, I love all these kind of tealy blues and greens again. I know I sound like a broken record, but color just really draws me in. And then um, for this pile, the last thing I have to show is, how do I do this? I have the, can this fit in? I bought the Urban Decay, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat vault because um, as as an amateur artist as an admirer of this artist's work he actually um, he died uh, quite young tragically his work is in museums around the world I mean it's just priceless type of work so I have the vault um, I mean this is really like a collector item um, even if I don't even touch it it's just so special so special um, and then these are the colors here that really I think pay homage to his paintings and um, the fact that he was a graffiti artist before he uh, turned to painting and then this this palette here is a little more on the neutral side um, but 
you know, it comes with lipsticks, it comes with eye pencils, it comes with this cheek palette I'll show you. Um, but I just, I just went bonkers when I saw this. I was like, oh my God, I have to have this. Okay, I thought I was done, um, but I didn't realize there were some more things in the bag. This is the uh, Geology Pilbara palette. So really excited about this one for a number of reasons. It's, it's an indie brand. I love the colors. Um, it's uh, the, the person who made it is actually a geologist. Um, I just love rocks and minerals. Just everything about it just really spoke to me. So um, I don't think I need to keep this packaging though. No. I'm gonna get rid of that. Here's the Purple Rain palette from C Color. Um, I really want to try this brand after um, Jen Phelps, who is somebody uh, whose channel I follow and I really enjoy, um, talked about this brand and how good their dupes were. So um, I saw this palette by Jeffree Star. I was interested in it, but I did not want that giant velvet um, thing. And uh, I wanted to try C Color. So um, that's the Purple Rain. And like I said, I also found that I kind of like purple. This is the C Color Tropical Palette, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Tropical Palette. Um, so that one looks really pretty. Here is the Perfusion Cosmetics Emeralds Palette. Uh, there it is there. And finally, here's another indie brand um, I found on Etsy. The palette is called Shades of Wonderland, and the brand is Ready to Shine. And uh, what's so cute about it is it looks like a playing card. And then there's the inside, um, so sweet. So um, it's a neutral palette. You know, of course, I guess this could be used as a transition shade, or a, I guess it could be used as a cheek color. Um, and it's just adorable packaging, and it's so lightweight, it's thin, and um, I can totally imagine just keeping this in my purse for touch-ups or whatnot. Okay, so I was just going to get, um, uh, pull out a drawer in my bedroom, and I found, um, I walked past this other box <laughs> that I had forgotten about, so, this video is going to have to um, be split into two because uh, the amount of palettes I have is, it's a lot. I'm, I, I don't know if I feel a little embarrassed or, or something. I really need to just stop and go on a low buy or something and um, just try and use my palettes and see what's going on. But it's... Um, it's quite the uh, it's, it's quite the pile that I have in there. Um, okay, so next is uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This palette is from Storybook Cosmetics. Um, absolutely love the colors are so happy and playful. Um, I love that it looks like a book. I love that it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is my favorite uh, book as a kid. It comes in this cute little velvet, which usually I don't keep all the packaging, but this just seems to go with that. Uh, what is the, oh, the Zodiac palette. This is one that I, I, I just had to have. I just love the colors. I love the layout. I love everything about it. Um, I'm a Scorpio, so um, I think perhaps there is the least exciting uh, colors match here for Scorpio. I kind of wish I was Capricorn or Sagittarius or Aquarius even, but that's okay. I'm going to use every single color. Um, absolutely love this palette. Okay, then I have the Alien palette from Jeffree Star. Um, the, the packaging, yeah, it's interesting. It's different. Um, it's kind of wonky um, you know it doesn't seem to store very well um, but these colors are just like not so amazing um, these down here this color probe 
Ghost um, Moon Rock. I am so excited to try this one. Um, I just think it's such a unique uh, color story and um, nothing else like it. Um, it. It might have been duped, I don't know, and I didn't see. I just wanted to get this. I got this on Mercari for a really good deal. This is um, another indie brand and um, one that I, you know, as I said, I like to support indie brands. Um, this is Ultramo is the brand and this is the uh, Nunca Olvlovar. Olvlovar. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that um, palette and I think you'll see why I love this one. First off, the, the, the artwork is incredible. Um, but then second, if you're going to have a rainbow palette, this is a rainbow palette. Uh, I don't even know if I can fit it all in. Uh, this is, you know, this is not something that is put together lightly. There is thought that goes into it, the designs, you know, all the little details. There's every possible color you could ever want in this palette. Um, so I just thought this was lovely. I was happy to support the brand. And this is just something I can almost even imagine just having this open on my, on my vanity. I hope to have one day. I don't have a vanity. I'm sitting at my dining room table right now. But it's just so inspiring and lovely. So check them out, Ultimo. Aside. What else do we have? I have two more ColourPop, Orange You Glad, and Uh Huh Honey. Um, again, uh, you know, I think these are going to be staples, and I think uh, those will be fun. What else do we have in here? The um, it's my pleasure, this purple one, which I've definitely become into purples. Now, here is the Safari palette from Natasha Denona. I got this on Mercari as well. Um, it um, has just a couple shades in here that were um, used, so what I do with those, I haven't done it yet, is I'm just going to take some 100% isopropyl alcohol and um, wipe those down. That's what I read online as a way to sanitize these things. Um, so, and then I might just like shave off the top of it, whatever, I don't care about that. But I, this is all an all matte palette and I just really, really like her, uh, her palettes and her, and her colors and how they work. I've definitely learned, you know, what, a good quality shadow is and how it should perform so um, this is one that I search for because um, it was really really hard to find and I was really excited when I found one that was practically new um, again Mercari it's my place to go now here is the Savannah palette from C color which is the dupe for this so let me just show you them side by side um, you see this so this one is smaller, um, but the colors are exactly the same. It did a nice job in duping this, and actually you can even argue that the C color saves you some room. Um, it also doesn't squeak like the Safari one. Get that out of the way. Um, the Urban Decay Stoned Palette. This is one I got. Um, Mercari, brand new in the box, um, never touched. Um, I, I just love this one. I absolutely love it. Um, the colors, these glitters here, um, the packaging, you know, I love rocks and minerals. Um, I just love that one. I think Urban Decay just has some of the most interesting, um, packaging. Um, another Nomad palette. This is American Parks or America's Parks. Yeah. And um, again, just so beautiful. I love, I love nature. I love, you know, going to um, 
places with amazing scenery and, and being in the outdoors. So um, just a lovely palette. And I have to say that actually I had problems when this was being shipped. It was sent to the wrong address and I contacted the company and they were just um, so wonderful. I had just the most wonderful customer service um, and sent out a replacement for me immediately. So um, I really appreciate good customer service when it happens. Here's the Haunted Euro palette. Um, totally fun. This, the, the colors are amazing. Um, just love. Okay, a couple of small palettes here. Um, the ABH, um, let me see, this is, it doesn't have a name. So it's the Mini Pro Pigment Palette number two and number three. And I got this one because I heard um, some YouTubers just really saying how much they love this one and how well it performs. And uh, this one uh, also, I, of course it's got green, but um, I kind of like these colors in there too. So I heard a lot of good things. I love the packaging. I totally am a sucker for packaging. It gets me every time. Um, Club Nebula palette, uh, which you all know what it looks like, but there it is. I have dipped into this one a few times. It's lovely. Who else do we have? Oh, the Mimosa palette by BH uh, Cosmetics. I got this one in Marshalls for $5. I was so excited because I really was looking for this one. I could not find it. Um, on the website. Um, I could not find it on Mercari. The ones that were there were, were used and did not look in good shape. So I found this one, you know, in Marshalls. It was still sealed. Um, I just got that this week. It's a lovely palette for the summer. Oh, here's another um, Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Uh, there is that one there. Okay, what else do we have? I also got these in um, Marshalls in the same trip. So this is the Opal palette for October, which I wanted because uh, this is my, uh, I am born in October. Um, and so that's the reason why I wanted it. Um, so you know what, it's not something that I think I would have bought if it wasn't for the fact that it's opal in October, my birthstone, but that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try it out and play with it and make it work. And I've tried, um, some pastels and other palettes and actually really liked it. And then, uh, I also got this one in, in Marshall's red is my second favorite color. And I just love that thing. That's a die for. Oops. There's the thing again. Sorry about that. Um, so I'd actually wanted these two, and then the, the fact that I found them for um, $5 each was um, totally awesome. The Urban Decay Elements palette, um, this is another one that I saw it in other people's videos, and I just went gaga, I had to have it. I love the packaging, I love the, you know, the, the concept of elements, um, the colors, you know, for, for me this is like a muted rainbow palette um, in a way. This, um, you know, I can see myself wearing every single color in here. I need more, I need more eyeballs. Um, just got these two, um, the ColourPop You're Golden. I don't think I planned on getting this one. I think it looked a little different on the website. Um, I'm not unhappy to have it. But um, looking at it now, you know, if I saw this in person, I don't know if I would have bought it. But, um, you know, I think I'll, uh, I'll use it. I'll make it work. Um, and it's actually, i got to say, it's smaller than I thought. When people talk about large palettes from ColourPop, I thought that they would be, I thought they would be gigantic, but they're not. And then Play It Jewel. So this is... Um, you know, again, uh, jewel tones, um, just beautiful by ColourPop. And uh, I think I'm going to get more use out of this one than the Your Golden, but I'll certainly make that one work. 
Okay, this is Beauty Bay, the Earthy palette. This one is big. It's 42 colors, and the reason I got this one is because, of course, it was green. But you can buy this palette in a 9-pan version, a 16, uh, you know, and then this. And I did not, I wanted to see every single green shade. Because I was worried if I got the 9-pan, you know, that there would be a shade of green that I wanted and it wasn't in there. And the thing about green, I love the color, but I'm still trying to figure out how to wear it on my eyes because not every color, um you know necessarily I, I don't like it when I'm trying to do it I'm still learning but I thought this one would help me figure out in one palette what are the green colors that I most prefer on my eyes um, perhaps there are looks for summer and fall winter and then I like that it had neutrals mixed in with it because I would likely use some kind of neutral transition color along with the green so um, stay tuned for how that works out All right. um, here's my uh, one Kaleidos mini um, for me, as somebody who goes crazy with collecting and has to have everything, um, I'm actually proud of myself that I only got this one. This is the one I wanted. And it doesn't even have green in it, believe it or not. So um, packaging is truly lovely. Um, this is the Futurism 3 Astro Pink. And, you know, this is the total package. This is what I want. I want eyeshadows and palettes that are an experience um, when possible that the packaging is enjoyable to look at you know it's substantial when you open it um, it looks nice you know this is this is an ideal type of uh, palette okay all right two more subculture this is another one I really wanted I heard um, Subculture by ABH. I heard all the issues with it, how it was so powdery, um, but I found it in Marshalls for $20, and um, I thought that was, you know, when I found it, I said, that's a sign. I, I'm supposed to have it. And yeah, it is powdery, um, but I've seen some people that, you know, have been able to make looks with it and have tips for how to work with it, and I just, you know, I just love these colors, these muted colors, so pretty. So I'm really happy. That was such a, that just felt like such a, you know, such a win to find that. Um, then I also wanted the subculture palette um, and could not find it in a condition that I was comfortable purchasing. Um, so I went to see color, you know, and uh, got the feverish palette. So it has the sparkly outside that I loved about the original subculture. And of course, this is, um, you know, after watching Jen Phelps videos that this is lovely quality. I think I've heard other people say that about this um, palette, lovely quality, and it really does a beautiful job um, in compared to the original. So um, excited to try that one. All right, we're almost done here. I have another palette from Storybook Cosmetics. This is, what is this one? I'm so sorry. Um, oh, Little Briar Rose, so sorry. Um, so uh, there it is. Um, my what appeals to me again it's it's a book um, I just love the concept of books that look like um, actually I'm sorry eyeshadow palettes that look like a book you know this this could totally go on a bookshelf it can go on my one day hopeful vanity um, and the last one is the burn book uh, on a sec by uh, storybook cosmetics <coughs> excuse me um, so
so much fun. The, the colors are so fun. Mean Girls is one of my favorite movies, and this is one of those that even without even seeing the colors, I just said, I have to have this. That is hilarious. So this one is kind of like the, um, the Hip Doc 411 palette from Clueless. It's the same thing. I just, two of my favorite movies are so much fun, and I had to have that. Um, I am going to stop here because that is a lot. And um, I will put down below what the, um, what the number of palettes I have is. I, I'm almost afraid to find out. And I'm not even done, so there will have to be a part two video. But that is um, about half or a little more than half of my collection. Um, I think it's it's more than half. Maybe it's two thirds. Um, you see, there's a lot of variety, a lot of green. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have enjoyed watching all of your makeup collection videos. And um, I will be back with a part two. Um, that if I don't have time today, I will try and do um, in the next uh, few days. Thank you for watching. If you've come this far, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, right now I'm brand new, so I don't have any um, subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I don't know if you counted your own subscriber. No, I don't think so. Um, but anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed showing these to you. And uh, wherever you are, have a wonderful day. Bye.